What's going on YouTube? I'm back with another video and this one is kind of a smaller mail day. I just have three packages here. Now one is some break results and then the other two packages are personal pickups. So uh, typically my, most, my more recent mail days have been a lot of cards for the fire packs, uh, but this is actually all personal pickups, including some break results. And with that being said, the package on top is the break results. It is from Wolf's Card Breaks. And I have absolutely no idea what it is. I don't remember uh, purchasing a recent break. So that's kind of a mystery. Not sure what that's gonna be. I'm sure when I open it, it'll come back to me. And then the next two packages are some really, really cool cards that I'm excited to open and show you guys. So uh, we don't have a giveaway uh, from the last video or anything like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop right in. This one shouldn't take too long. Like I said, it's only three packages. So again, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and got in on that 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So that was the most recent video, the 5,000 subscriber giveaway. So I am uh, super happy that we did reach 5,000. And it looks like this was a, oh, okay, yep. <laughs> I bought into, I think it was a three box first off the line Cavs break. So uh, typically when I don't remember when I bought into something, it is because I didn't hit anything major. So that is why. So we'll kind of go through and see what we got. We got a Kevin Porter base, Dylan Windler, another KPJ, Darius Garland, Darius Garland. And then the, uh, the best card I guess we hit is this uh, Kevin Porter Jr. Jersey selection card, pick number 30, and that is purple, number 299. So unfortunately, I cannot get an auto. Whenever I buy into breaks for select, I just cannot get an auto. And then he threw in a pack of 2020 Leaf Draft Football. So that's kind of interesting. I have not opened this before. So we'll see what we can get out of here. I really have no idea what to expect here. Dick Butkus, uh, Cole Komet, a DeAndre Swift, all Americans. Ooh, there we go, Tua. I know he's a good one. And then Emmett Smith. So touchdown Kings, Tua. Uh, you know what? I think I might actually do a giveaway on this one. If if you are interested in this card here, just be a subscriber, like the video, leave a comment. You know the normal stuff, and you will be entered to win this uh, Tua card. So that's pretty cool. Not, I don't think that was numbered or anything. Just like a base insert but pretty cool there. And the next two cards here are gonna be personal pickups and they are very, very cool. So I'm excited to show you guys. So we'll go ahead and get into the first one. Let's see if we'll be able to see it right off the bat. So it looks like it is covered up. So what is that one? Draymond Green? No idea, from Excalibur. All right, so there it is. So you already know what it is. It's a Seiku and it is Prism. And you see there, number to 299. So this is the one that I had been uh, looking for. Literally the day after I made the video posting my entire Seiku collection, and I had said that I'd been looking for the one to 299 and just couldn't find a good deal on it. Literally the day after I went on eBay and checked and found a new one listed and worked out a deal. So this one is numbered, what is that? 208 of 299. Now from the picture, it looked really, really good. It looked well-centered and the rookie card logo looked really sharp as well. So we will see what it looks like in real life. And not as good as the pictures, <laughs> unfortunately. It is a little bit off center. The left side over there is a little bit thicker. And then the rookie card logo is definitely not perfect like it looked in the pictures. So unfortunately, we have another Seiku card that will not be getting sent to be graded, but I am very happy with that one. I th honestly think the two that are the highest numbered, the blue and the red are two of the best. Uh, probably my favorites other than like gold or maybe the blue ice to 99. Really like just the plain red and the blue. So. Added another one to the Seiku collection, so I'm very happy with that. Now, 
I will say his stuff has definitely come down here recently since there was a time about a month or two ago where he really blew up and his stuff has really come come back to earth a little bit but not just him uh, you know right now with everything there's a lot of uncertainty going on going on in the in the world so you can definitely uh, pick up some really really good deals right now people are kind of panicking and letting go of some stuff so if you are still you know financially stable and have a little bit of extra cash to spend you can really really find some good deals right now so uh, with that being said we will get into the next one and it is another pretty good deal so I did actually already open this one I checked this one out and now it's stuck in there. All right, there we go. So we'll move that box off to the side. So boom. And I was considering picking this one up for the next series of the veteran fire packs. But honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep this one. I really like it and I wanna keep it for the personal uh, collection. So it is a Giannis Prism Mosaic Green. I think the green looks amazing with the, the Bucks green uniform there. And this one is a true gem, so quad nine fives. True Gym, I actually have the base version myself. So there is that one. And I think I am going to actually put together the rainbow, not of all of the Giannis Prism Mosaics, but just the ones that are non-numbered because these do get pretty expensive. So the, the base here, the green, and then there's a red and blue version that are both not numbered. I think I'm gonna do that whole non-numbered rainbow. So I'm, I'm gonna try to get them all as nine fives as well. So be on the lookout. Uh, I did, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and give a little spoiler alert. I did pick up another one. So that one should be coming soon. But I'm, you know, like I said, I think that would look really cool if I get four nine fives, have the base, the green, the red, and the blue. That would look really cool. So that is the goal. And that is gonna do it for the mail day. So like I said, it was a nice short one, only three packages but some very cool cards. So just show those again. Got the red Seku and the green Mosaic Giannis. Very, very cool cards. And typically, I, f I forgot to mention as well, I typically don't really pick up a lot of graded cards. Honestly, this might be the first graded card I have ever picked up for myself, for my personal collection. I really kind of like the thrill of either pulling cards or buying them raw and seeing if I can get a good grade on them. Uh, Typically, I don't buy graded already graded cards. So this one, I think, actually might be a first. Yeah, I've bought a lot of graded cards, obviously, for the fire packs. But as far as personal collection goes, I think this one actually might be the first. So very cool. First, <laughs> first graded card for the, for the uh, collection. So that's going to do it for the video. Again, I did pull this uh, Tua out of a bonus pack from Wolf's. So if you are interested in that, be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment, and you will be in. That's going to do it for the video, so I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you very soon.